Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill rack daily challenge using Python programming language. First, we'll understand our question. We have to accept the string yes from the user and print the length of largest substring. with alternating substring sr so we have also given a note that there will be always there will be at least one substring sr so we have accepting the string yes then we are printing the length of the largest substring with alternating substring sr so let us understand with our test case so in this test case we are going to check for the substring sr so here we have the substring sr so we will highlight them for the understanding and we'll have continuous substring sr here so the length of substring is 10 so which is the largest substring length so we have 10 as our output now consider our second test case so here we first we have capital s so we should not consider it and after that we have sr sr and here we have also here we have sr we will separate them for understanding so the length of the largest substring with sr will be 4 so our output will be 4 itself so 4 is our output now consider our third test case so here we have only one substring sr so our output will be 2 which is the length of the substring now the key logic is we have two logic that is logic one we can generate all possible substring with sr in it so the main disadvantage of this is the time complexity and another logic is that we have to use a single loop so let us understand more deeply so this is our test case so i have marked the index for each characters now we'll assign the list to length and count is equal to zero then index is equal to zero now we check for our required substring from first we see sk which is not the required substring so we will increment the index by one then after that we can see ks which is also not the required substring so we will increment the index then we have sr so we will increment the count by one and then we will increment index by 
2 that is it becomes 4 and after that we have il so we will append the count to length and the count becomes 0 and the index will be incremented by 1 then we have ll so index will be incremented by 1 then we have ls index is incremented then we have sr so the count will be 1 then index will be incremented by 2 then we have again sr then count become 2 index becomes 11 that is incremented by 2 then we have sr so again count is 3 and index incremented by 2 then we have one more so count is 4 and index is 15 then for another sr count becomes 5 and index becomes 17 then we have sk which is not the required substring so count will be appended to length and count becomes 0 and index will be incremented by 1 that is 18 then we have ki so incremented by 1 then we have il so index will become 20 then we have ll so index will be incremented by 1 becomes 21 then we have lr so index will be incremented by 1 then we have ac so it becomes 23 then we have ck it becomes 24 so after that we don't have any characters so we'll stop with this then now we will print the max of length asterisk 2 that is we have this continuous substring with the length phi so it will be multiplied by 2 it becomes 10 so 10 will be our output now consider another test case so here we have the index Now we can see that we have SR with capital S, so it is not the required substring. So index becomes 1. Then we have SR, so count becomes 1. So an index will be incremented, becomes 3. Then we have RS, so index becomes 4. Then we have SR, count becomes 2, index will be incremented by 2. Then we have AS, so count will be appended to length. We will have 2 here and count becomes 0. Then index will be 7. Then we have SR, count will be incremented by 1. Then index becomes 9. Then we have again SR, count becomes 2 and index becomes 11. Then we have BS, so the count will be appended, then becomes 0 and index becomes 12. Then we have again SR, count becomes 1 and index becomes 14. Then we have uh, unrequired substrings, so, so count will be appended, it becomes 0, index becomes 15. Then we have again SR, so count will be incremented by 1, then index becomes 17. Then we have DS, so count will be appended, then count becomes 0 and index becomes 19 sorry 18 and now we have again SR count becomes 1 and index becomes 19 and after that we don't have any characters so now we will find the length of the largest substring that is we have the length as 2 2 1 1 1 so in this the largest substring length is 2 and we will multiply it with 2 so here we have 2 multiplied by 2 that is 4 4 will be our output 
If you didn't subscribe to our channel, then do it right now to learn and crack daily challenge every day and make our work more meaningful. Let us implement our program. First, we'll get this string. Then after that, we will initialize the substring as list where we will store the count of the continuous substring SR. Then we will initialize the variables count and index as 0 and 0. Then we will run the while loop while index lesser than length of S minus 1 as discussed in our logic video. We are checking two characters at a time. So we are using minus 1. Then if S of index is equal to equal to S and the nearby character in this s of index plus 1 is equal to equal to r then the count will be incremented by 1 and index will be incremented by 2 else the substring will be appended with count and count becomes 0 and index will be incremented by 1 then again we use the statement that is the substring will be appended with count then we should print the max of substring into 2 since we should not print the count of a substring rather we should print the length of the substring so we are multiplying it by 2 now let us execute our program will run our first test case so we have got the correct output that is 10 where we have this continuous substring sr here then we'll run our second test case we have got 4 as our output that is here then we'll run our third test case we have got 2 as our output that is we have only one SR substring. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.